Hello everyone, welcome back to Simply Your Imagine. So I am super excited to do this project. I have been meaning to do this for a birthday present for one of my friends. By the way, this is the reference photo I used for this painting. Here is the final sketch of the dragon. My plan is to use just these two colors, um, the titanium white and the brilliant red. So this is the underpainting for the actual red that is the important part. And since there's enough room, I want to do my friend's favorite quote in Chinese characters just to fit with the theme. Here's the last thing I did for the underpainting. So I got this Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Gloss Clear. This is just for the finishing touch of the water bottle. And then I got these two markers from this brand Painters. I got a fine tip red paint marker. Same thing, but in white. So so in the following clips, I didn't show a lot of stenciling in for the characters or for the dragon or just any other design because that's kind of boring and since it is on a black hydro flask, can't really see the graphite marks so that'd be kind of pointless to include. Unfortunately, I am not fluent in Chinese so I use the handy dandy Google Translate. And for those people who don't know how to read these Chinese characters, it is my friend's favorite quote from Proverbs 27:17, and... I'm gonna botch it up a little bit, but it basically says, um, as iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. Also, I found it very difficult to remove the paint that you laid on, and the only way I was able to remove it was one, nail polish remover, but two, there's a better option. You can find these like disinfectant wipes um, in first aid kits. I think those worked a little bit better, but they had less control versus a nail polish remover with a Q-tip because that would be more precise. The specific brand I used for the alcohol wipe was called Webcall by Covidian. Um, also, I think other products like Benzalconium Chloride Antiseptic Towelette would work, or a hand cleansing wipe from Johnson & Johnson. The chemicals regarding the nail polish remover I used, I just got a basic one from Up & Up. You can find that at Walmart, or another one that would probably work. I didn't try this out, but... Um, you could probably do 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Either way, when you are removing the paint that you need to do, please do it in a ventilated area. If you have a fan, turn that on or do it outside. Just make sure you're not breathing in all those fumes. Also, use disposable gloves like latex or rubber or something that obviously you're not allergic to. Or if you don't have that, if it does get on your hand, make sure you immediately wash it off so that you don't get some sort of skin rash. Aside from all the safety announcements regarding the paint, I think it did an amazing job making the project look put together, making it look professional. Personally, I would use two to three coats of paint because you really want those colors to stand out and you don't want them to be a little see-through. Okay, everyone, this is how it turned out. It looks absolutely amazing and I hope my friend enjoys this for her birthday present. And then I proceeded to spray with the Rust-Oleum. I've never really done this, so I did two coats and hope that it worked. This is just what the front looks like, kind of boring. But then, boom, we have the Chinese characters looking like stickers because then I just chose to be smart and like outlined everything with white. Boom, we have the beautiful dragon. I like it a lot. Aside from all of that, if you did enjoy this video, please leave it a thumbs up because I really hope that it brought you some inspiration to decorate your own hydroplask. And thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.